Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Virgo, for the week of August 8th through the 15th. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you want a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. So just send me an email and I can let you know how that works. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Get you a moon oracle card. Take time to breathe out. All right, Virgo, time to exhale. You are good enough. That's the full moon in Virgo. Look how beautiful that is for you, Virgo. You are good enough and take time to breathe out. Just take the time to really exhale out. I usually try to breathe in positive blue signs and exhale red negative signs to, to really get rid of the negativity. <clears throat> so let's see, let's get you an animal spirit card. What kind of animal is sitting with Virgo? The horse and the hawk. Look at this, a whole new perspective coming for you, Virgo. A broader perspective, a higher perspective. So that is beautiful. And you've got the stamina and the spiritual uh, lessons coming in with the horse. You're really learning these spiritual lessons here. You've got the strength to do that too as well. And the turtle, this has been slow moving for you. This new perspective coming in, very slow moving. But that new perspective you are gaining here and it's going to change some things for you. Maybe this Lion's Gate portal on August 8th is going to change a few things for you. Let's see. King of Cups, Queen of Earth, and Empress. Oh my God, look at this Virgo. You have got the Empress, you have got the harvest, the bounty coming in for you, the reaping of, of the, what you've sown. Queen of Earth, another very earthy card, Mother Earth Gaia card coming into you. So you are a steward of Mother Nature here. You are really appreciating Mother Nature and tuning into her, connecting with her. And the King of Water, you're connecting your emotions into Mother Earth here. So this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful coming into you. I love this new perspective, this new feeling coming into Virgo of real connection, true connection here. And the Eight of Earth, Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You've been really hard working at this. You really have. I don't know if you even know this, but you've been trying to reconnect to Mother Earth here. You've been trying to reconnect with Mother Nature love that. What's on your mind? What is on Virgo's mind? Virgo. Virgo. There we go. Archangel Michael. I love this card. This is temperance. This is Sagittarius energy, but this means balance. This means truth coming out. This means a balancing of the truth, not any shocking revelations. Archangel Michael brings in the truth with a balance to it so that you can breathe out. You can say, oh, I get it. I see. <laughs> what else? What else is on the mind of Virgo? A new cycle coming in for you. Look at this with the world. These are major arcana of Virgo. You're, you're really knowing that these changes are coming to you. You're thinking about these changes. You're thinking about this new cycle coming in. It might feel a little unfamiliar. Uh, a little like you're looking in the mirror and you're not quite sure what you're seeing here because you're so changed from this, from this elevation of yours. So don't hold yourself back. Don't get in your own way of these changes. Just let the blindfold come off. Let spirit reveal these truths to you and um, start this new cycle. Get it going. Why not? It's a new day for you. What else? What else is on Virgo's mind? Deception. See, that's why you were so afraid to look away, to look at this new cycle here, because you're still feeling the, the hurt of some betrayal, the hurt of some deception here. There are truths that have still not been revealed to you, and you can feel that, and you don't like feeling in the dark here, and you don't like feeling like there's whistleblowers around you, people telling on you when you're trying to um, just live your life, do your own thing, get get things done here and then you have all these whistleblowers in your mind here that you're feeling like why is everybody always looking at me why is everybody always watching what I'm doing and then telling on me it just doesn't seem 
fair to you, Virgo, and it's not. Eight of Pentacles, so it feels like it may be even at the workplace that you're feeling watched, you're feeling studied, you're feeling like um, you just can't get any privacy, that there's just no privacy around Virgo right now. And you're really feeling like you want to be private. You just want to pull your energy back a little bit. You just want to be a little bit reserved here. Go for your own pentacles. Live your own life with independence, with grace, with dignity. And then these people or whatever situations keep pulling you back. These these dark situations that you don't have any control over. It's like you just don't even know how you get pulled into these situations. But... Uh, you're there for a reason. You're there for purpose. You are there to soothe the situation. So just hold on and do what you do and be the mediator that you are. <laughs> and that's why um, you're feeling like you just can't get any privacy because everyone's vying for your uh, opinion here, for what, what would you do, Virgo. And, and But you are feeling kind of studied, kind of watched. And you're not liking that. Look at this. The lovers comes into the heart space. This is a soulmate contract. Twin flame energy coming into Virgo's heart with the lovers. Gemini energy. I love that. Page of Pentacles. You're balancing those pentacles. You are balancing a tight little tightrope here when it comes to romance and your partnership as well. King of Wands. You've got that guidance. You've got that uh, ancestral guidance watching over you. This is a masculine energy watching over from the other side and really taking care of you taking care of your heart making sure that you don't get too caught up in that deception and in that betrayal this is the truth being revealed with judgment coming out here as well so there's no way around this truth being revealed there has been some deception around you there has been some truths withheld from you virgo but the truth is about to be revealed and you're going to have a big eye opening here a big a big ah moment i get it i get it and these are with soul contracts with the lovers there. Definitely um, people that you are connected to, that you have this real strong connection with. You're not, you're not even maybe sure why you feel this connection, but you do. King of Cups comes into the foundation. So yeah, there are emotions being withheld from you, ideas, feelings being withheld from you, and um, really processed by those around you. So it's not being withheld to you from you on purpose like you may be feeling with that seven of swords up in the mind space but it is being withheld you people are uh, withholding their emotions from you especially this these soul contracts that feel this connection with you they're withholding from you i don't know if they're withholding from you if they're withholding from everybody honestly i don't think it's you specifically our Aquarius energy comes in to clarify the page of Pentacles you are healing you're healing from some from some things like we all are but um, the devil comes into the foundation here so there was some toxicity there is some toxicity still around you there is some deception here there is some things being withheld from you you can't see the whole picture with the three of Pentacles that's teamwork and reciprocity but there's some um, toxicity still in the foundation some toxicity still in the mind space here with the seven of swords so there is some deception around you some people not telling you the whole story you're not getting the whole truth and you can feel it because you're a virgo and you know exactly how that feels but yeah there's some things being withheld some emotions being withheld this card jumped away what is it the competition card the five of wands so archangel michael's trying to ease that competition there's some competition between people here that they are tr all trying to get everyone to see their side of things see it my way see it my way it's it's the only way to see it <laughs> virgo's confused saying i don't know who to believe <laughs> nine of cups comes in that's wish fulfilled on this new cycle you have some real dreams some real goals do not get distracted by the others here virgo do not get caught up in their stories here you have dreams you want to accomplish you have you have things that you want to do you can't get too caught up in this competition here you're working very hard eight of pentacles on top of eight of swords so there's two eights there that lion's gate portal is going to open up a lot of new money opportunities for you a lot of new investments coming in for you and you're going to be investing very, very wisely. You're not just going to be throwing your pentacles anywhere that you feel might um, be worthwhile. You're going to study that and you're going to research it. You're going to 
uh, you're going to find out all about that company before you buy their stock here or that house or whatever that is. You're putting in the, the effort here to invest in something. So that's beautiful. Six of Swords, you're moving on from that deception. You're taking that water uber out of there, away from the deception, away from anything that makes you feel uneasy, makes you feel uncomfortable. There's no reason to stay around the Seven of Swords energy with people trying to steal your power here, trying to get you to see it their way or or one way or another. You're, you're feeling this push-me-pull-me -me energy, especially with that devil down in the... Uh, in the foundation so don't get too caught up in all of the storytelling here um, just remember that you have your own story here so so uh, let let spirit guide you out of this let spirit guide you out of this there's no reason for you to be um, caught up in this the moon comes in over the lovers too so yeah cloudiness deception things being withheld from Virgo things not being revealed to you things being purposefully withheld because they don't want you to see the whole story because then you'll be able to choose a side very easily so you're being confused on purpose here spirit is trying to lead you out of this confusion away from this even um, discussion they're trying to lead you away from it away uh, from the um, the fight here whatever that is whatever that means to you they're trying to lead you away from it page of cups there's offers of love coming in offers of understanding of emotion to this confusion here to this cloudiness here so um don't um don't think that everyone is being deceptive in your life virgo that's just not the case there's just a few soul contracts here that want you to believe them want you to believe them so they they are just withholding all of the information because they don't want you to um, turn away from them. <laughs> Queen of Cups, there is some more withholding of emotion. So that's very interesting, especially in the heart space. We've got the King and the Queen of Cups on the board here, but those two um, are notorious for withholding their emotions, for not revealing how they're feeling. They're a master of their emotions. Their emotions are not a control. They definitely have control over their emotions but they are not big revealers of those emotions. So you're just holding back. King of Wands is inspired action though. So there's going to be some kind of inspired action to unfold those emotions, to get those emotions revealed so that you can have the full picture here and you can make your decision wisely. You're looking for that broader perspective of the hawk. You're looking for that full picture. Ace of Pentacles on top of the King of Cups. This is money coming into you, absolutely. This is the finish line when it comes to money and your foundation. You've been investing. You've been um, looking to, to see where to put your pentacles very wisely here. So that's going to really pay off, and it's going to be at your doing. It's going to be something you're investing in. It's not going to be... Um, it could be at a workplace where you're getting a promotion of some kind of, and more money of some kind. But investments paying off is what this is saying. Investments really paying off for you, and... Um, taking away the burden of, uh, of pentacles for sure not having to worry about it for sure what is this healing what is the star energy down in the foundation for Virgo what is this star page of pentacles there is that slow moving money again messages of money here you go here's the payoff for your investment I'm going to pay you back eight times what you've invested <laughs> and eight is very significant with august and the uh, lion's gate portal on august 8 i see a couple of eights here so that's very significant when it comes to money some kind of investment is going to be paying off for you uh, pretty big and, and you're going to be really happy with that what is this devil energy for virgo what is this capricorn energy coming in could just be that Capricorn energy but five of swords no it is competition there is competition around you competition to to win you over to have you see it my way have you see it um, no other way but my way I won't even allow you to hear the other stories because I don't want you to be swayed I want you to be on my side pick my side is it's, this is a choose sides reading for Virgo choose my side but yet you're not getting the whole truth to be able to even choose a side so that's why it seems very confusing for you but Virgo I've got to say justice is here Libra energy is here to say that the truth will prevail the truth will balance out here there's nothing you need to do it's just going to work itself out here so there's no need for you to feel this competition and this toxicity from this um, group that you're finding yourself in from this um, 
environment that you're finding yourself in where somebody's wanting you to choose a side just know you don't have to that oh yeah and the eight of earth there too so eight august 8th is going to be really really big for you there's no reason for you to choose a side here there's no reason for you to just walk away from it let that let uh let that uh boat just take you away from the heartache of choosing a side so no need to for virgo all right, Virgo, if this resonates for you, it seems very specific of people trying to um, get you to see it their way in a higher perspective. But look at this with the Hierophant coming out on the bottom of the deck. You will absolutely know what to do here. There's no reason for you to have to choose sides here. Just listen to everyone's side here. Let's get you an Angel Oracle card just to see if the angels have anything else they have to say about this and not seeing the whole truth. Not seeing everyone's full truth here. Oh, a couple want to come out. Be honest with yourself. That's interesting. I don't know that I've seen this one before. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. So that's what that's talking about, obviously, is you know the truth of this situation. You know the truth of the people around you. So it, it's in your heart. You just have to look into your heart. <clears throat> it's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. <clears throat> Lean. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, Virgo. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. <clears throat> Virgo, there's your truest desire here. This is you finding independence. Look into your heart and you'll know the truth of this situation. You can rise above it and it's safe to admit the truth to yourself here, according to spirit. So <clears throat> be honest with yourself. You've got this. <clears throat> wow, I can't believe I'm losing my voice at the very end here. <clears throat> Assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love. <clears throat> Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. I have a feeling you're going to be losing your voice when you say this truth, when you become assertive to this group of people that's trying to get you to see their side of it with me losing my voice here at the very end. Virgo, push through it. Do not let that stop you. Be assertive. You know what the truth is. You know what the truth is, and it can be healed gently with love, and, and that's exactly how it has to be healed is with love with this situation here. But be honest with yourself. You know what the truth is. Even if you lose your voice <clears throat> when you go to be assertive here, just know that that's okay. It's just your throat chakra. It's opening up. It's, it's, a, it's a learning process and you'll get there. So you be assertive with the situation that's going on around you and you speak your truth. You know what the truth is. All right, Virgo. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I will tune in with you soon. Leave me a comment. Let me know <clears throat> if this resonates with you and just push through it just like I am. Just who cares if you're losing your voice. You just keep talking. <laughs> Be assertive. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.